my name is Katrina. I'm the owner and artist behind Blush Designs, where I create fine art, ethereal inspired design with a fresh twist. Today I'm going to take you behind the scenes of a recent video I created, where I shared with you my top 5 tips for creating watercolor florals. If you haven't checked out that video, I'll link it down below. I highly recommend checking it out. I'm just going to take a kneaded eraser to lighten this up. I don't need to worry as much about some of the stems. Now one of the reasons that I work from a photograph and actually make a sketch is because I want to avoid having anything be too formula. So if you're working from a photo and there's different flowers in there that you're mimicking, you don't have to worry about making them all a cookie cutter because no two flowers are alike, just like people. So they have obvious similarities, but they're not going to be exactly the same. Now I like to start off with a lot of water. You can always add more color. I like the work time that this paper allows you to have because it will stay wet pretty long, but not too long. So I can go back in here and I can add some deeper tones of this burgundy dusty color and it will spread nicely to the rest of the petal to create a nice natural gradient effect. And I'm not really sure what the name of the actual flower is. Usually I do, but in this case, I just fell in love with that shape. They have a large dark center. So if you know what, the, what type of flower this is, let me know below because I really like it, but I'm not really sure what it is. I think it might be some kind of poppy, but it has like a really, really dark center. So I'm just, I'm not sure. Careful not to overwork. We can always add more petals later if needed, but we don't want to add them too early. All right, let's get to these lemons. Okay, I'm going to do this guy because I want these colors to bleed a little bit. So I'm going to fill that in quickly. Okay, I'm also going to take a little bit more of that burgundy onto my brush and tap that right in. I really want that to bleed in. I find that that really helps get the flow and just help everything to look connected. And it's huge in this modern style, more modern style of painting. Would it be helpful to see the color mixing process? Let me know down below. If you want to see color mixing or just talk about it, if that's what you struggle with, I would love to share with you. Um, leave the word color mixing, two words, in the comments below and then I'll just know I need to do a video on that. Or at least share some of my favorite tricks or books. Again, adding some of the other colors that I'm using throughout the painting. It's already in my palette. Why not use it to add some visual interest to my piece.
Okay, again, pulling in some of these other colors, even though this necessarily, um, this wouldn't necessarily reflect color there, I'm going to add it in anyway. Part of that is just for me, that's my style. One last lemon. Now what I am not afraid of doing, and some people are, is flipping my artwork upside down. If it is easier for you, if this is your dominant hand, flip it around. If you love watercolor tutorials like this, leave the comment tutorials down below. The only thing you gotta remember when you turn things upside down like this is that your shadow should still be toward the bottom or underneath the subject. And so for this guy, he needs to have his shadow right now on top because when I flip it back over, that will be the bottom. Pretty dark. I try and have something in each painting that is a little bit darker than all the other elements. Um, I don't want anything to read too similar. So let's add, you can see I've got some leaves marked up out up here. If you haven't done so already, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe down below. I'm going to try and do a watercolor video every month or so, and I'd love to hear like what kind of video you like. Do you prefer like my last video where it's five tips and just little tricks that I picked up along the way, or do you prefer a video like this where it's more tutorial, where um, I'm showing you as I'm painting and just kind of voicing over everything? Uh, yeah, let me know what you kind of think and um, what you prefer, and I'll just follow your lead. If you love this style of watercolor and are dying to see more, I have a link down below to my free desktop calendar where I have some of my own watercolor artwork on that. Um, I update it every month and I'd love to send it your way. <gasps> ah! Why can't I say this? So sign up! Those, uh, hmm.